Hello everybody, James Schumark here again, uh, CEO of the Startup Race and I'm organising the Angel Investor Meetup group here in well, Edinburgh and Scotland. We're actually in the Duns uh, countryside at the moment with Jamie Andrew who's the chairman of Tri Capital and you're going to be our guest speaker um, Thank you. on the 27th yes. of February and we are in Casanova Capital thanks to Bob Hare and the team, we're very happy to uh, to, to be hosted by them for our next two meetings, and uh, so I just this is a, just a, a teaser interview with Jamie. Just want to find out a little bit more about uh, Jamie's uh, backstory and what he um, is looking for in an investment team, <laughs> an investment opportunity, and I guess the background of of uh, TriCap and what TriCap's investment thesis is. So. So, you, how did you get started in angel investing, Jamie? <laughs> uh, James, that's a very, very good question. I, I'm actually an unlikely business angel, I think, because I've, I've never made m millions from selling my uh, a big company or anything like that. But I had a capital gains tax problem, so I, I made my money out of investing in other companies. And I was very, very lucky in the pre-crash uh, in the late 90s, in the 80s, etc, uh, etc. Et um, I managed to build up some capital um, and then through family circumstances I, I had this capital gains tax problem and somebody said to me, well, you know, you, you, you've got business experience, well, why don't you think of investing in companies through EIS, you can offset it against that. And I thought, well, that's a good idea. So I got it, looked into that and I was in contact with Link Scotland, I met Sandy Finlayson and to cut a long story short, I invested in two companies through Link Scotland, and that brought me into investing into Tri Capital because the big benefit of investing through a syndicate is that you share your risk and you're getting uh, involved with like-minded people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, once I'd done that, I then realised, well, I've got a portfolio of these very, very high-risk companies, and I don't really know what's going on in them. So. I took it upon myself to, to, to form the, what's called the Exit Assessment and Support Group within TriCapital to better understand what was going on in these companies and how can we move them towards exit so we can all get our money out of them. And here we are uh, 15 years later and I've ended up being chairman of the organisation. So um, it, it, TriCapital is a wonderful organisation. We were, we were set up uh, in 2004, uh, Rob Dick was the first chairman. The original philosophy was to invest in the borders-based companies, but the reality has been that there haven't been that many um, companies in the borders that we've been able to, to invest. For example, uh, we have 29 active companies in our portfolio. Across those companies, we employ about 500 people, but there are only five of those companies in the Scottish borders that uh, uh, employ 50 people so that's something I would love to change but mm. we operate throughout right throughout Scotland and we co-invest with the other angel syndicates as well. Mm. So why should other high net worth individuals here in the borders or in Edinburgh or further afield in, in Scotland consider joining TriCap? We 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 like to think of ourselves as quite unique. We're we're smaller than most of the other syndicates, and we're more personal. But we tend to get hands on. One of the things we encourage our members to do is to get hands on with with the companies, either as a non-exec director or as an observer. So, we we don't have this passive investment role. We're very active. Uh, where possible and appropriate with our companies. So we look for businessmen who have perhaps recently retired, sold their businesses, who not only want to give money, but it's active money, it's smart money. So come invest through TICAP, get involved with our companies, get involved with the members to help our companies grow, add value, uh, uh, and ultimately return the, the capital or the value to, to the shareholders. I mm. And that's our recent Angel Investor Meetup group. There was someone at the end that actually afterwards who, who said he didn't realise the opportunity he had to get involved with companies and to support the, uh, the entrepreneurs. And that was the, 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 the big attraction for him. And so, so he's, now, uh, he's now going to you know, register as, uh, as a high net worth individual, a sophisticated investor. And, um, but of course, it's great for the... The, the team, the, the company as well, because they get the benefit of the, 
the experience, the contacts, um, the wisdom, the objectivity of the of the smart investor. Absolutely, and I, I can give you an example of that. I, I sat on the board of one of our companies for um, as a non-exec director. It was an engineering company. My background is chemical engineering, and I sat on it for a longer term than I should have. And I came off in February last year, and I got one of our guys who was a very very bright guy to go in after me. And he came back to me, he said, right, well, you know, I can do this, I can do that, but what we need is a bit more help. So I've got another member involved as well as an observer. So we, we tend to rotate our non-exec directors where possible as well. I'm a great believer that three years as a non-exec is, is about right. Um, <clears throat> so there's loads of opportunity for the right people. We, we will not put, and I will not put somebody into or onto a board that doesn't have the right experience. That, that wouldn't be fair, but we tend to find that the members that we do recruit, they do have that right experience. And, and let's face it, if you've been uh, running your own company like you, you have, you've got loads of experience, uh, the scars on your back that you can offer up to these younger companies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> So the so obviously there's lots and lots of investment opportunities in Scotland. What is the, what is the, the investment opportunity that catches your eye and makes you think right? We're going to take we're going to make a commitment to this this company. Well, <clears throat> ultimately, we don't invest in companies. We invest in people. So the people aspect is the most important thing. The 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 uh, the energy, enthusiasm, and credibility of the management team that is going to deliver that business plan is key. It's absolutely key. Having said that, there are certain industries where it would appear easier to scale a business and build value into that business, and as a result, become attractive to be sold to another business. So that's another factor. But for me, the overriding uh, thing we have to get right at the beginning is the people. Mm, great. The right team. <laughs> Easier said than done. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, I, I very much um, appreciate you taking the time this morning to meet with me and I look forward to our Angel Investor Meetup group on the 27th of February and I hope that you'll come along and benefit from uh, the deeper insights and chats that I will be uh, getting having with uh, Jamie. So, um, yeah, hope to see you there. And thank you, Jamie. Yeah, thank you very much, James. Thank That's you. And look forward to it. Look forward to yeah. it.